All right, YouTube, a day in the life of me. Here we go. All right, just did my uh, site survey inside. I go inside first because I want to uh, make sure that there's no finished basement. If there is, it, it gives me an, an avenue to actually uh, um, of how I'm going to approach the job because each job is different. So this one's got an unfinished basement. They're basically four walls and a roof house. Perfect job. This is like the ideal job, really. Real easy. Um, now, there is, uh, there is trees. So let's take a look and see exactly uh, which way we're facing here. Mm -hmm. So 212 is right there, so we're facing that way. Good, looks like we're uh, in business. So I can put it on this right here, this corner, facing straight out, and that's gonna be just fine. I'll run the line up and over, or not up and over, but along the uh, roof line. And then over here for grounding. Um, obviously, they've had Dish Network. Um, there's your kind of awesome Comcast. So right here is where I'll ground it. I'll go inside the basement. Um, ground it, go inside the basement. From there, I'll split it, run my lines to each location. There's four TVs. Um, so they are actually, they already have holes um, from prior services. So I'll run my lines, attach it. That should be done. It is, hold on a second. It is 9.15, so let's see how long this takes me. All right, real quick, this is basically what it looks like on a roof. Uh, it depends on the, the angle of the roof. Obviously, if it's, real, if it's real steep, then you're not gonna be able to leave all your crap right here, so I have it hanging off my ladder. But, quick plug, why you want an impact? Simple. If you're doing it with a drill, eh, you're working too hard. I got all, right. all the lines ran inside, um, ran in line for the uh, DECA for their internet hookup as well, so technically it's a five boxer. There you go, there's my uh, uh, beautiful ODU, I ran up uh, over the uh, gutters down. <clears throat> and then obviously this is my ground, um, ground, ground block, and entry. Now I did, there, this is a crawl space right here, so I um, went through the wall, ran in the line, back into the basement to the uh, eight-way splitter. Um, you don't want to, you know, you you don't want multiple splitters if you can help it. Um, it just it's just better for signal integrity. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I'll show you. I'm going to go in and activate the equipment, and I'm customer education. I'm all done here. On to the next one. I'll just give you a quick rundown, real quick, of uh, my procedure going inside. Um, <clears throat> so I just basically. Grab all my receivers that I need. It's a Genie and three clients. Power cords. It's getting the DECA. I bring all this at one time. That way I don't have to keep coming back and forth. Just keep myself uh, a little more efficient. So, yep. That's it, guys. All right, boys and girls. Well, that was the uh, first job of the day. It is uh, 11.20. So, what, 9.15 when I started on this. So, two hours plus, give or take. Um, I have to call the supervisor because they have a um, net promoter score. I guess they're probably losing money, so they want to uh, micromanage the net promoter score. So they want me to call the customer or call supervisor to let them talk to the customer. It is what it is, so it takes a little extra time. But um, I don't know if I'm going to tell you. I guess I will. Five box install pays 105 bucks, um, and then she she uh, inclined for the protection plan, which is a a warranty. A bit away, um, we come out and she gets free service calls, and there's a couple of things. I'm, I don't really recommend it. I do offer it because I think it's mandatory. Um, she said yes, so that's an extra four dollars. So this job pays one hundred nine dollars for a little over two hours, and so it is what it is. Um, so the next job, basically, I close this job out, and let's see where we're going next. Uh, former customer, one boxer, and um, well, I won't say where it's at, but uh, yeah. So this is this is job was a five box. This when I just closed out. I ran all new lines to all five locations, obviously including the, the satellite dish. Um, so I mean, typical two hour job, give or take. So I mean, I, it could have been done faster if I didn't have to, uh, or if I wasn't going to make videos. And this is Monday, so it's my first job of the week, and kind you know getting back in the groove of things. So you know I forgot my zip ties. I had to go back down the ladder get my zip ties. I usually have everything, you know, you know, made up for in my little uh, work tote, but didn't happen. So a little, a little unproductive on that end. But uh, next job should be pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, former customer, 
um, what former company they had Drive TV and they canceled it. It's a one box, um, and it's a Genie Light. See, I have a Genie Light. Um, if I didn't, I have to go search for it and more time off. So, um, basically, you're gonna acknowledge it, which which basically uh, tells the computer system that I see the job, and uh, I'm gonna put myself in route, tell them to expect me in a certain time frame. Um, this is a 12 to 4. Um, so since it, it's only you know 11:20, I can, technically I'm not supposed to be there until 12, but um, I get there a little early, get a head start, piece rate. So I'm not paid hourly. So the more jobs I close, the more money I make. All right, guys. All right, no, I try to get early or try to go to this place real quick and see if a customer was home. I know it's about a half an hour before uh, before uh, their uh, shoot. I can't talk and back up at the same time. All right, before their appointment. So, since they're not home, um, I just texted my supervisor, told him, hey, nobody's home. You got anything else close that I can go and try to keep, you know, I don't want to sit here for half an hour if I don't have to. So, while I'm waiting for him to reply, I'm pretty close to my house. I need to stop back by there. I'm, I did not bring an extra roll of uh, indoor cable with me. So, I'm on my last couple hundred feet of that. So, I know I'm going to need some more of that before uh, the day's end. So, I'm going to stop by my house real quick while I'm basically, this is what you call idle time. Uh, you, you know, you don't have really a job to do. Um, I could just sit there and, you know, just twiddle my thumbs for half an hour, but that doesn't do anybody any good. So, um, oops, looks like I'm going the wrong way here. Oh, my God, here. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm going to go stop and get some more cable at my, uh, at my house, and then um, we'll see what else I have. All right, well, it's past 12 right now. Um, customer wasn't home, started the door tag process, but then he answered the phone, or he answered the door. So a little behind schedule, but this is a former customer. So at one point this address had direct TV or the customer had direct TV. So you can see they had a, uh, it's not correct. It's, this is not how I like it, um, but obviously it would work, but uh, they're only getting one TV so I can bypass this entire thing. And then, um, you know, ground block. Um, and then maybe you can put the ground block closer to the ground like it's supposed to be over here. They already have a satellite dish, so. Um, yeah, uh, looks like uh, it's gonna be a, a pretty easy one boxer. All right, I'll uh, get back at you guys when I'm done. All right, working. YouTube. Well, that is about as easy a job as you're gonna be able to get in this industry. Um, I basically took out that eight-way splitter, um, brought the line back a little bit to the um, to the gr to the grounding source. Um, it was already grounded. Uh, dish was aligned correctly both lines one for the deca one for the uh genie light were all both direct tv activated it sign here he wanted the protection plan um and that's pretty much it that's a two box install with the protection plan is going to pay you 64 dollars and we're we'll pay me 64 dollars so it is 12 40 so we're going to go to the close it out we're going to a uh a uh four, another three box install about three minutes away so going to the next job well all right i was probably i was at this uh this house this building probably a couple months ago during a really bad storm nobody was home but here i am now um they want instead of being a three boxer they want uh they want five total so one on the main level and then four bedrooms upstairs so i can show you um power's right there so oh, it's gonna be a roof mount um i'll drop the line straight down um basically straight down here and then from here it's going to be all like one line is going to go in the basement for the uh, main level one tv and then everything's going to be exterior uh black cabling on the outside of this white siding looks like it's aluminum siding so they'll sign for the waiver so for screw clips because uh the company i work for does not to supply um um i guess you want to say siding clips plastic siding clips they, it's only screw clip only so you have one two one bedroom in the front and then another bedroom on the other side as well and or two bedrooms on this the other side this two bedrooms here and then one on the front so all right now two ups two one two three four and then five so yes so what i'm going to do now is let them know what the plan of attack is roof mount uh for the satellite dish and then i'll be drilling my holes um for each location that way when i'm on the outside i can see exactly where where my lines need to go so i can basically run the lines from the outside in. All right, guys, another good paying job. Oh, all right, YouTube, I uh, got done with this five boxer. There was no internet, so um, no DECA. 
Um, but you can see five lines. I ran everything brand new, grounded. Um, just this is what you call a wrap. Goes all the way to the front. You can see one's there. There's four bedrooms up, you know, just like the last video or the last segment of this. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, ran new everything. One go, went into the basement. And the other two went up and the other two on this side go upstairs. So yeah, time consuming, still paid just as much as the other uh, the other install you saw me do. Not the last one, but the first one. Um, just this one's more time consuming because uh, I have to wrap the house. So uh, I'll close this job out, see what we got next. It's just before four o'clock. So yeah, it took me a little longer, but it is what it is. All right, so we got a, uh, just close that job out and um, was put on site to a uh, 12 to four. I know it's right at four o'clock right now, but it is what it is, like I said before. Um, it's a uh, two boxer, it's an apartment job, literally like a minute and a half away. As a matter of fact, I probably can keep everything rolling here. Oh, oops, wrong way. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, another install. So let's go to our fourth install of the day. All right, well, here I am on site. It is a, an apartment. It is a locked internal hallway. So I'm in the process of door tagging it. Um, obviously try to knock on the door, but obviously they're not going to hear me. So, uh, flat roof, so it'd be a non-pen, looks like, but they're gonna have to have uh, landlord permission. So, uh, since I don't see any other satellite dishes here, or even on the side here, <clears throat> um, just the Comcast runs, probably not gonna have authorization. So, we'll see. All right, <clears throat> almost on uh, site to this service call, or trouble call, depending on how you wanna say it. Um, the error code says system not grounded, which, that's just whoever dispatch took the call. Uh, I'm not gonna get into dispatch because um, everybody, everybody here knows that they're not really worth much. Um, but the tech notes, as far as what they called in for, there was actually they didn't call in. It didn't document any issues, so I'll be. It could be a, you know, they wanting an upgrade and they built a service call because they don't want to pay. They don't want to tell them. Dispatchers don't want to tell them it costs money. Um, for an upgrade, etc., etc. Um, so we'll see here. I'll be on site here in a couple minutes. All right. Well, I'm on site to this service call. They say there's a bunch of crazy stuff going on. They said the other other word than that, but um, yeah, you guys can see. I got a stubby facing into the roof. Um, line going down. I can tell it's been it's been installed by AT and T because you got AT and T's uh, fittings right here. Uh, bonded, not grounded, not attached, copper clad cabling uh, used. So uh, we'll go inside and take a look, um, see if I even can even repair or at least replace these uh, lines, at least to the genie. That way, they're, they're you got solid copper um, going, you know, to this to the LMB from the genie itself. Um, but we'll see here. They got um, five receivers on their on their account and you can see obviously it's a two-way so you know you got at least one more direct tv splitter somewhere so uh let's take a look here all right youtube so that was a cluster um it's what you get when you have uh at t do your direct tv install it was pre-wired all except for three or two locations of five box five five receiver install um three of the locations were 59 rg59 so not much i can do it's a completely finished basement i had no options um told her um yeah she's gonna have to call direct tv tell you know try to upgrade to wireless for free um i needed to basically mount a new satellite dish because we don't uh, mount stubby mounts pointed into the roof because we live in a snow area where obviously we go to many service calls during the uh winter time and basically install regular masks so they can not be buried with snow so yeah gonna um cancel this one i'm gonna contact my supervisor see if we got any more work tonight um so that was a big waste of time so yeah it's the only thing that sucks about piece rate you know last job went down this job went down so it's been what time is it yeah it's about five o'clock so it's been an hour of not getting paid so what are you gonna do you gotta take the good with the bad all right 